All right, we're back for another constant opinion. I just wanted to tell that joke before we start. Um, uh, the intern was saying how uh, she's uh, nurturing to animals. She got rid of her dog when she moved in here, though. <laughs> <laughs> for what reason? To be with me. Oh, Aww. weird. I know, it's not nice. That's cute. Happy Valentine's Day. That's a good Valentine's story right there. Happy right. Black History Month. I'm so excited. The gaff was waiting for that. This. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We get it in. Oh, man. Did you, did you, did you celebrate with any black people? I'm going to assume not by the look on your face right now. No. So, well, actually, what's no. really funny, you need to listen in. I wish I could find it. It's not available online, but on the Cowhead Show, they have this guy. Uh, his name's Willie. They call him N4. Willie, really? He was the fourth black dude to ever listen to the show. N4. N4. <laughs> and uh, he Happy has Black History Month. He has just funny little skits that he talks about every single day. It's Wait, you so can't find it anywhere? Not like on they Google or anything? No, they, no I've searched. Because it's really funny. So uh, why don't you do what's new with you? It's been a long time. It has been a long time. I'm 16 pounds lighter thanks to some punk-ass kids. Um, kid. Kid, yeah, kids. Whatever, man. Disease-infested bastard. Um, hmm. I kind of lost my train of thought. I had a good one for you. I didn't think I was going to go first with this. Well, you want me to go? Yeah. All right. Uh, what's new with me? Let's see. Um... We, intern and I are actually going to make a three-day trip to New York at right. the beginning of May. All right. I was going to say the end of April, but Oh, yeah, I do want to announce this. The intern, uh, a.k.a. Hostile Takeover. So if you hear that from here on out, the Hostile Takeover is uh, a.k.a. the intern. <laughs> Inside joke, of course. Oh, no, fuck that. I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> but hostile Takeover. I'm not mad at you, you know. It's like a... It's like a you're earning your stripes with me, you know what I'm saying? Intern, that's not that's not gangster. That's not mm -mm. hostile takeover. Neither I like is that. hostile takeover. No, nah, because that's, that's like what you're doing. Terrible. No, hostile takeover works for you, and you are hostile all the damn time. Wow. So that works. Moving right along, what's new with you? Uh, let's see. Other than that, um, been looking at a lot of different places in case uh, we do move. All right. Things are a little costly. It's New York. Yeah, but I mean, we can always. What was that for? Intern looked like she blew her brains out. Well, maybe no, she it has to make sense, and so far to me, it doesn't make sense. Oh, now as of the other day, it made sense. Now all of a sudden, no, no, no. As of the other day, it like it has to make sense to you. So if you can make it make sense, then that's cool. Let's go. But if not, then what's the point? Man, looks like I'd be able to get that little box in the middle of the city then. What okay, does that mean? um, time out, time out. Black History Month <laughs> show. <laughs> Y'all can have this little Dr. Phil episode, whatever the fuck's trying to pop off right now later on. You know what I'm saying? So I can get back to my normal life All right, in the so, morning. All right, what else is new? Uh, well, I was going to talk about the events the other day in front of the house, but I, I guess we could let uh, the intern say that on what's new with her. Recklessness. I heard about that, by the way. I feel, I feel for you. Oh, that's what's new with you. I'm sorry I cut that shit off. But anyway, this is more interesting. So to handle that situation, I'm going to be, I'm going to be prepared for that in the next three weeks. And it's going to be, I actually held one in my hand today. It was kind of weird, kind of reckless, but whatever. The, uh, the guy was talking about the uh, first dick he's held. That's other than his, of course. Right? You said handle the situation. You held one in your hand for the what first time. What are you time. talking about? Firearm. Firearm. To handle the situation uh, that you might have walked onto, into, uh, and around or whatever. Um, so that was, that was kind of amusing today. I mean, it's, uh, I guess... I've had to change my view on hanging out with uh, officers and enforcers of the law, if you will. Might be more convenient than I've imagined. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. I don't know. Any well, other than Deputy Jones in uh, Polk. Deputy. That sounds like you even really made that up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's so just generic. But anyway, that works. But, uh, yeah, so looking to get that in about 21 days. I'm really, really excited about that, by the way. Um, I did purchase a new vehicle. Um, Toyotas, I'm sorry. I love them motherfuckers, man. They're beautiful. Not, I'm not a real American-made type person like that. I guess it is what it is. Maybe you'll have a Japanese wife someday. Probably not, because they're not going to give me a first-round draft pick in anything. 
bone structure, man. They're too damn small. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe a DB or a gymnast or some shit. Oh, yeah, what else is new? Who gives a shit about the Olympics? This guy right here. <laughs> Does it really matter? And another thing, Winter Olympics, ain't no black people in the Winter Olympics. Are they really the Olympics then? Jamaica has a bobsled team. Okay. Okay, 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 time out. Now, I knew somebody was going through some bullshit. Listen, Summer Olympics, I want you to compare the number of black countries in the Summer Olympics versus the Winter Olympics, and then come at me with some dumb shit on. Well, yeah, based on sports play during okay, the summer. So, in okay, back to the original question. I think you're Who hurting Joyce's feelings right now. He's really big into that. What, hockey? What is it, like the shuffleboard? No, curling. Thing? Curling? Stupidest thing I have ever seen. Yeah, that's seen. ridiculous, really. And 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 I'm gonna end on this note because it is Black History Month. I think they make sports and contribute to and like boost up the winter sports, the uh, Winter Olympics for the white people. So they feel like they're dominating in something because when it comes to like basketball, USA black people, we gonna bust that ass usually. Track and all that shit, island countries, black people, they gonna usually bust that ass. American, we gonna have some brothers in the you know red, white, and blue. Or wait, 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 wait! You're but telling me not to be racist <laughs> earlier. That's not racist. Show? It's a fact. Look it Are up. You really? What did I say <laughs> when you up. said that to me? What did I say? <laughs> Look it up. Oh. Look at it. <laughs> hockey, really? Hockey, really? What countries? What countries were playing hockey? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, don't try me, man. Nobody really. Next subject. That's what's new with me. Fuck the Winter Olympics. Holler at me when we running and playing basketball. Okay. All right. So <laughs> when it really matters. Fuck out of here. So what's new with you, intern? I don't think I've ever had one of these. Um, last Monday, right? Yeah. Yeah, someone tried to jack my car. They Can you uh, define and explain jack? They, okay. <laughs> um, well, we just got back from Disney, and okay. Joyce was driving. He said that he locked the car. I did. He said he did. And I So now you're him. questioning me locking no, the car? No, I believe you. I believe Joyce locked my car. I guess... Mm. That night after we went to sleep, someone tried, someone successfully broke into my car without damaging anything on the outside. So maybe they had one of those master keys or... It's possible that or they Or maybe exist. the door was unlocked. <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> I um, locked the door. I, they, they ripped out my um, ignition, just completely tore it apart. And then the, the wheel column, it was just... On the ground. Everything was dangling from my steering wheel. Yeah, and her response when we go outside in the morning, because we were going to move it, because uh, my car, uh, we were taking to go to the beach that day, and I told her to move her car. She goes, um, <laughs> I think my car fell apart. All right, I have a question before I proceed with this next statement. <laughs> How old's your car? What year's your car? This is 2013. Stop it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a Jeep, and that happened before where the, the, the wheel column just kind of fell off, and I had to put it back up there, so I thought that's what happened. Two more like questions. Two more questions. Two more questions. What year was the Jeep? 95. And what make is the car that just got vandalized? Hyundai. Stop it, man. <laughs> I don't know. I've never had someone try to steal my car before. I don't know these. Well, obviously, things. they didn't steal it. If you found it, they turned it on. No, they turned it on. Like and didn't they, want it. They got it on. No. Um. I guess. I guess the steering wheel locked up because there's a safety feature. If the key isn't in the ignition, the wheel locks up. You can't move it. So they probably oh, got it yeah. on, couldn't move it. So then they just left. left. All right. Time out. Thirty second time out. What do you mean, 30-second timeout? What is check this? Oh, <laughs> uh, the gaff's going to check and see if his car is still in the uh, outside. He put it in the driveway, right? He didn't move it back. It's on the side. Yeah, my car was literally, like, in front of, like, in the yard. Everything's still good? Yeah. Yeah, it was in the yard, like, where, where Joyce usually parks, like, sideways, kind of in the front. You know... When my truck got stolen about nine years, a little over nine years ago now. Um, when I was maybe 10, 11. Possibly. AKA punchlines over here. Punchlines, everybody. <laughs> um, everybody got jokes right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, my car wasn't even destroyed that bad. 
Like I could actually the the ignition piece was still on. I just use a screwdriver to start it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there had to be some like damage elsewhere, like with the internal stuff, because well, when you called, they said it would be like five hundred dollars. Right to put everything together with parts. Yeah, I don't think they realized that the estimate. stuff was literally hanging to the ground. Yeah, but it was so bad. It was what, like almost twelve hundred dollars to yeah. fix everything. So, anything else new with you? Um, I'm I'm really happy with my boyfriend right now. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh no. <laughs> that was a plus, I guess. No, 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 no. That that was another punchline there. That was a. Uh, Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah, I'm real happy with my boyfriend oh. right now. Oh. Moving on. So, <laughs> sarcasm. Oh, wait, what yeah. was that? What are we doing? Moving on. What ride was that on? I don't remember. And we're moving on. Yeah, I... <clears throat> that Was that at Disney? Yeah, with the the movie producer one. This is a terrible segue, oh, by disaster the way. movie? Moving yeah. on. <laughs> Yeah, terrible segue. He didn't catch on. I did, nobody I caught on to that. Yeah. All right, so I got a couple current events. Some of them are pretty funny. Some are pertaining to uh, one of our first topics. I'll do yours last. <laughs> it's funniest. Naked woman jumps out of boy's bedroom window. It's off smoking gun. Arizona woman jumped from the second floor bedroom of 15. <laughs> 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 I haven't even said anything yet. <laughs> You're going to explain that. Sorry, she yeah, jumped I'm out dead. the second story <laughs> Jumped out of a second story, uh, second floor bedroom of a 15 year old boy. After, no, what? What? Oh, shit. Arizona woman jumped from the second floor bedroom of a 15 year old boy after his mother caught her cavorting naked with the teen last month. She broke her ankle when she crashed to the ground. <laughs> Apparently it was like a family friend or something. The mom, uh, mom walked in around 2 a.m. when she heard, yeah, when she heard knocking sounds by the stairs on the wall. She went in her son's room and a naked female crouching down on the floor between the bed and the wall. So she jumped out the window and broke her ankle. <laughs> she jumped. <laughs> Bitch, I see you. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Uh, that's funny. Okay, no, nah, I'm not even gonna play that game with y'all right now. Next subject. All right, man. next. Uh, well, here, let, let's go. Let's go to that one real quick because the rest kind of go with hey, the they, Super Bowl. Did they say how old she was? Thirty-four. Fifteen. That's not bad. You know, that's that's, that's a couple notches in the belt. Man sues. Oh, now this is the not so current event of the day. It's from November. Man sues ex-wife over ugly children and wins. Oh, cause she like daughters looks horrified. Him. But cause she like had corrective surgery or some shit. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's fucking right. Good call. Now that's justice right there. Yeah, ch check out this picture real quick. That's justice right there. What do you think about the kids? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Are you looking up current events? Yo. <laughs> I saw something. Look at I know the oldest looks... son. He looks like he's mad. Like he like it's, Andy's like it's all clicked for him. Like he knows. Real original. He knows like he doesn't. Wow. I haven't even looked at the oldest son. I Because it said daughters looks horrified him. I just look at the daughter. Wow. That's terrible right there. Where is that? That's not here, is it? Uh, I think it was the Philippines or something. Damn. Uh, a Chinese man. And apparently the kids look like his wife, but that was before she had $100,000 worth of plastic surgery in South Korea before they met. That she never told the husband. You wouldn't tell anybody either, motherfucker? Well, do you see what... Come on, bro. Do you want? Do you really want to see a before picture of that child? Do you really want to see that? No. Exactly. I, no. Exactly. Exactly. Now, you got to understand, half that's your fault, too, bro, but... Yeah, but... Damn. I don't know about Yo, that. Yo, I would... I'd give you $5 right now if you could find a before picture of that. <laughs> oh, we could, we could find one if we had to. Oh, man. All right, here's a good one for you. Eh, this really isn't that great. 
Girl 16 busted on child porn rap for posting naked selfies to Twitter. So because she put it on social media, she got a child porn charge on herself. That's crazy. That's kind of ridiculous. So, she, like, does she get punished? <laughs> uh, Do you go to jail? Like, <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, she went to, like, a juvie place. And uh, the place she was at offers a sexting education diversion program. Man, what city and state is that, man? A Virginia teenager. What the fuck is really going on? Are you serious right now? What What's the date on that? The date? Uh, February 1st, I think. That is wild. February 5th, I'm sorry. Well... Oh. Think about it here in Florida, last like last summer, 15-year-old girl was arrested on a child porn count for showing several classmates an iPhone photo depicting two juveniles engaged in oral sex. Hmm. I mean, I don't know, man. I ain't got no damn kids. Look, I'm tired of all these, like, you should have beat your kid's ass before you gave them the damn cell phone, or you should put some damn rules in place your kids wouldn't be wilding out like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, once you get that motherfucker a $500, $800 phone, ooh, mommy, app this. Like, you don't, there's no app to raise your kid. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I can damn sure put my foot up his ass and I bet you won't be doing that dumb shit anymore. What was that, uh, the, the books? Uh, like, computers for dummies, this for yeah, dummies, yeah. that parenting for dummies? They do have those. Well, I mean, we just got, we got a lot of dumb parents, bro. Like, too many babies having babies. I know this one is from um, a Florida woman. Oh, this is going to be good. Uh, January 31st, mom pimped out daughter 15 for Super Bowl sex. (laughs) I told you it was going to be good. (laughs) I told you. A Florida woman is jailed after making a Super Bowl week trip from her home to New York City where she allegedly sought to pimp out her 15-year-old daughter. She came up with a plan with... She came up with a plan to go up there and work and make money as a pimp. Daughter said she knew it was going to be escorting and prostitution. They arranged to pay $200 for a sexual encounter in a Manhattan hotel. And she is on $2,000 bail. So that's what, $20,000? Yeah. That is crazy. It's not very smart. Babe, I hope that's not your plan on how we're going to make it in New York. Who am I going to prostitute? Was that? I mean, it was a joke. You're supposed to. I mean, me obviously. <laughs> You're not really. Catching yeah. On tonight, are slow you? tonight. All right. Here's another one for you. You know why? Can I say why? Sure. It's because you haven't gotten laid tonight. Damn. It's nothing but jokes. And she nothing shuts her mic. But How about jokes. That? Nothing. No, I thought my mic is the one that echoes a lot, so I shut it off when I'm not talking. No, that was the one that was broke. That I returned after I bought the new one, but it replaced, you know. Oh, okay, so I can keep Wink, it wink, nudge, All nudge. Right. <laughs> All right, here's another good one for you. It's the last one. Man's ear bitten off during Super Bowl party. What? Let's see. <laughs> Are there names? In New York. Oh, yeah. Super Bowl party turned bloody last night when a New York State man allegedly bit off part of his brother's ear during a booze-fueled melee. That's kind of funny wow. how they put all that on there. Uh, he was arrested. He's 27. Let's see. He tangled with his brother during a post-game scrum that escalated into a brutal assault. He allegedly punched his younger sibling in the face several times, knocking him unconscious, and then chomped down on his brother's right ear. The bite was so severe that an emergency room doctor said that he will be permanently disfigured, and it will not be. It will not ever be the same again. It's like Mike Tyson from like the mid 90s. Hey, good luck in New York. Them motherfuckers are wild. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't say wow. where it was. Who was who? Who was watching these two just whoop shit out of each, bite each other and not trying to stop? Now, me personally, if I was there, I'm not breaking up shit. I'm gonna let y'all handle family business. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with that. It's, but, it sounds like it was just like a family get together. And y'all just watch them roll around and bite each other. I guess uh, his girlfriend, the guy who bit the other guy said that uh, the brothers drank a bottle and a half of Southern Comfort and Jack Daniels. That's why they probably weren't even coherent. (laughs) It's a lot. That is a lot. 
All right, so speaking of the Super Bowl. Uh, waste of time. You know, that was uh, one of the first games that I could actually get the intern to almost completely watch. Why? Because it was terrible. Because it was the Super Bowl. Women pick the worst games that I actually want to sit down and watch. I'm sorry. Y'all just pick, like, She did it for me. Oh, well, you're terrible for having... Why did you... Why, as a football fan, as a legitimate football watcher, would you sit there and watch the rest of that, that whole ass whooping? I even... I made him all this food, and I was, you know... Try to be supportive and watch it with him and try to be interested in it. And it was interesting because it was so terrible. One one right. reason I thought it was even better is because we did the squares at work. And so, you know, there was money riding on every little thing that happened. This is true, but... Oh, man. That game was horrible. Peyton Manning's got about two more years. Uh, my theory is this. Uh, what's your boy, Pete Carroll? He can recruit. He got a bunch of goons on the defensive side of the ball for young and cheap. They know their next contract they're probably not going to keep, but, like, the top... 2% of those that they want to. They're Richard gonna Sherman. They're going to let them go. Um, and they're just going to do it all over again because Pete Carroll had roots in college, man. He Half those motherfuckers on his roster right now, he either A, had at USC or recruited oh, to USC. Well, that and they were a, a lot of the other ones were in the Pac-10. Yeah. So or he knew he, about them. Yeah. yeah. Um, but even worse, it sucks for uh, Floyd Mayweather. Oh, ten, 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 bet ten and a half million dollars on the Broncos. And man, lost. he got that man. Just go fight somebody. You'd be all right. I actually just just right before we started, I saw he's gonna fight a uh, another another fight like a unification title match against somebody. I forgot. I've never heard of the other guy, but that'll get him at least thirty million. So no big deal. Yeah, he. I mean, he's not dumb. He's not gonna fight anybody that he can't really know he can handle right now in his career. And I know you said you didn't watch the halftime show. We watched the halftime show. No. And I didn't see it then, but I, I saw it after the fact, how the Red Hot Chili Peppers uh, didn't have their instruments plugged in. Now, I know they make wireless instruments, but not on a setting like that, because if those don't work, you're done. There's no way. He wasn't, like, lip singing or anything, though. I don't... Well, yeah, but they probably had a music track in the background, and he was just singing to it. No. I want to see Mars these pictures good, though, of honestly. you... Like the one that you say you saw, like where you saw the cord unplugged. Like, I don't think they would make a mistake like that. Not on something so huge with everyone watching. Every year they get, people get basically busted and made fun of for lip sync, so. I mean, you got to think about like this. How, who are they, Red Hot Chili Peppers? Yeah. How old are these motherfuckers? Oh, they're in their 40s. Right now? They have yeah, to definitely. be, yeah. And these songs came out when? A lot of their better songs are probably in the 90s. So that's about what? 20 years 15, ago? 15, 20 years ago. You think they sound the same in 20 years? I don't know the way I... I uh, probably I think not. so. You would think... Do you think you sound the same after 20 years? I wouldn't know. I'm only 20, so... Well, yeah, you just learned to talk like yesterday. Um, hey, remember the old joke about how we said we'd get married and then after 10 years with our wife, we were just... Trade them out yeah, for hand yeah, them in. Okay. Yeah. Good luck with that. Are you well, saying when you're 40, you're going to be able to find a young 19, 20 year old again? If I got enough commas in my bank account, I can. You like don't age. I'm not talking to you. You don't count. Well, what, what, what do you mean? Black people don't because age, man. You have looked. I saw the pictures of you. Didn't you show me like a picture of him in high school? Yeah, the Look exactly when I had a thing the, the same. I don't know about exactly the same. Exactly. I'm the almost same. back to my high school weight though. <laughs> <laughs> I do know that. Oh shit. I have an age. Go ahead, say it. You look completely different. But for the better. <laughs> for the better. See, that's <laughs> for good. The better. I think that's the first legitimate positive statement that's, that's been made. That's the first compliment you've gotten. Yeah, that's that's good. Oh, oh hey, <laughs> completely completely off topic here. We were watching wrestling tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, Hulk Hogan came back. Oh, I heard. Did Jimmy Hart come back too? He will be shown with him at some point in time. Tonight. Yeah, yes. I heard Jimmy Hart's supposed to come back too. He's still driving around here in a Honda somewhere. Like somebody saw him about Jimmy Hart. Jimmy, no, yeah, Jimmy Hart. I think. Really? Is he dead? No, he's still alive. Oh no, nah, yeah, that's what they told me. I don't know. I don't watch the shit, man. I just listen to what people say. I was like, Jimmy Hart. That's funny. Was the car yellow and red? <laughs> 
It probably is. <laughs> probably like a bright red. So uh, in talking about the NFL, I don't know if you will have any comments on this, but the first openly gay... Yo, time out. Before we get to that fag, <laughs> no homo, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Um, did you see the 40 clown he put up today? 447? Yeah, but then they were putting on the bottom that the one they're going with was 453, So, but he ran a 447. I, I don't understand the reasoning behind that. I don't that. know. The, the man is 267 pounds. Yeah. And you're running 44 anything? He'll 4 be a, 5 anything. He'll be a top three pick. You but know, you know Manziel's going to the Texans. Would you. Now, so I got I got opinion on that too because the reason Johnny Manziel said what he said as far as the Texans be stupid to take him if they if they didn't take him they'd be stupid. His people have money, and they have backing in Texas. That's just pure power move right there. That's all that's about. Um, would you really draft Clowney though? I don't know if I would draft Clowney top top five that motherfucker. If you flake on my money, I'll kill you. And he already had an injured back in college. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. He t- he shut down this year, bro. I understand why you did it. But I don't need you to shut down once I put this million dollar check in your hand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, at me, I'm not gonna draft him in the first round. I'm sorry. I know you're a freak of nature, bro. I understand that. He he'll be a top three pick though. Regardless, I think he'll be a top six pick. I don't know if he'll be a top three pick. Hmm. All right. So back to your boy Michael Sam. This guy. You know what? Actually, we'll talk about him and Jason Collins, a basketball player who just got signed again, first gay basketball player, mm-hmm. openly gay basketball player. Why does it matter? Well, no, here's the thing. This is I find this interesting in Black History Month that the only two professional athletes that are gay are black. And, and... And they come out during Black History and Month. And the, <laughs> the gay guy in WWE is a black guy, too. Oh, oh wow. You know, I'm wondering this... Gaff, do you notice that uh, homosexuality is uh, rampant in the uh, African American community? Yeah, I definitely do. And I, I know, I know why. I know why it happened. I do know why it happened. Why? When you, when you put a large population, a large portion of the population in jail for most of their life, and they end up <laughs> fucking each other in the ass anyway, yeah. and then when it gets out into the mainstream, it's gonna grow, bro. Everybody's sleeping with everybody in jail, though. So what is that? What are you trying to say? What do you like? How is that? How how is that disputing the fact that I just whatever I just? I don't said. think the point you just made was at all valid. I think that's what he was saying. All right. Well, no, because well, that's you cool. know white people in there having uh, the you? the Asian guys probably okay, getting okay. taken advantage of. All not right, really. So here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Check this out. So if you want to talk about like per capita population, or whatever, what percentage? What what's the most densely populated population in jail? Black. All right. That's a fact. No, I, right? yeah, I that's see. Fact, yeah, right? I, I, I see where you're going. With that's that. a fact, right? Yeah, I see where you're going. With all right, that. that's all. I'm, that's, that's all I have to put it on right there. So now, let's say you're a team. Are you cool with this guy being on your team? Wait, 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 wait. So all these black guys go into jail, and then they take it from dudes for so long, they get out of jail, and they just <laughs> spread their gay around the world. Is that what you're spread saying? Spread their gay. Missionaries for gay. Well, look. So, okay, okay. So, have you have? I know Chris has heard about this. I know you heard about motherfuckers living double lives and down low, right? Like they'll have two separate lives. They'll have a they'll have a husband. Uh, they'll have a husband, obviously, because it's double life. They'll have one set with a with a female and kids, and then they'll have a completely different life, and they'll be gay. Where it's like a cross dressing type yeah. thing, or not even not even that. He'll just be same suit and tie, but I'm gonna go fuck this dude in the ass. Uh. It's the same. It's it's happened. Is this the same guy that was uh, just released from prison? He could have been in jail. That does happen. Though. I'm just saying, like, but it's for, also for you to thing. say that doesn't make any sense. You're not black. You don't know. You haven't been exposed to like black people. Want so you have been down. exposed to many gay black oh. men no, because been, you're black. I have, I have, I have been around many gay black men. Yeah, HBCUs. I've, I, I've been HBCUs, around HBCUs. Yes. Okay. I've uh, people in my family have gone to jail. People in my family. And did they turn gay after they uh, went to jail? They caught. They got AIDS when they went to jail. Yes. But did now, they now, turn did they, gay? Did they, do you turn that gay? doesn't necessarily that? mean that. Do you, did they spread that once they got out? Do you do you turn gay if you get raped? That's that, doesn't that's make That's yes sense. or no. That's yes or no. I mean, are you a man getting raped by a man? Yes. That's what happens in Why jail. Why would you turn gay? I asked you, does that turn you gay? No. No, but that's how you get AIDS. That's how you get sick. So Do that's you what happens. Him topic jumping here. That's not topic no, jumping. I'm no, explaining it to her. Uh, no, we're, we're still we're, we're talking still about being gay. Thing. Now suddenly you're getting AIDS. I'm just saying because 
Wow, see, that's why 20 year olds don't need to have a mic in their hand. Hostile takeover, put it together, piece From by piece. Black people are vastly gay to you get AIDS. Black people aren't vastly gay. I just went with two people. <laughs> well, I will say this. Right, I will say this. I will say this. Black men are definitely more fuck, fucking flamboyant by far. Gay black men are yes. more flamboyant than, than gay, gay white men, guys? Yes. Mm. By uh, far. I don't know. I've seen a lot of really flamboyant gay people. I don't know, like, just at my work, there's one gay black guy and one gay white guy. The white guy takes the cake, for sure. I, I, I just remember one that we went to school with. And I didn't, I didn't think he was more intense than, uh, uh, he was pretty intense. I don't know, I'm not, I, I'm not going to speak anymore Do on you that topic because uh, people don't want to appreciate the knowledge you drop them, you know what I'm saying? Hey, so then what do you think about... Your boy uh, DMX fighting George Zimmerman. I say let him fight. And then after that, I say you let me sign up and whoop his ass. I was going to say, I remember you saying that you would pay to fight him, not get paid to fight him. No, I'd pay to fight him. I'm not going to pay more than like $500, though, but I'll pay to fight him. You know, one of the people they wanted to fight him was uh, Game. Mm -hmm. And he wanted, I think it was a million or $2 million to fight him. That's a bit much. Um, But see, the thing is... We'd go bare hand. Oh, yeah, you're going to feel that, This baby. is, like, going to be, like, celebrity box. No, like, no. Big gloves. No, no, no. We talking, like, damn near MMA, and I don't know nothing official about MMA. I'm just going to whoop the shit out you for $500 because you killed somebody because you want to be a hero. Wait, so I understand this. Did they just, like, put Zimmerman out there, like, hey, if you want to fight him, just sign up, and we'll it's see. It's probably a PR so. move just to see what kind of buzz they could get. That was well, all. Yeah, because he was DMX gonna, is so random, I feel. He, well, I know Kanye West said he wanted to fight him. Uh, somebody else said they wanted to fight him, too. Okay, Kanye's not going to get that clearance from the Kardashians. No, that yeah. That's not going to happen. He's another Kardashian female, Yeah, though. it's not going to happen. Um, no, I think... I think this all started after George Zimmerman got in trouble again for uh, wanting to, like, he beat up his wife or did something or pulled a gun on his wife or a knife. Knife or gun or something. And uh, um, I think DMX is a good choice, though, because he's mean. He's pissed off all the time. He's going to bark at him. Oh, my God. Like in his songs. <laughs> all of his songs, have he barks. What, what the fuck just, can I... Are we not cursing on here? Are we cursing on here? You can say whatever you want. You're not really talking very loud on there. Not really. All right. Now am I good? Now it's a little better, yeah. Huh? Can you hear me now? What'd you say? Oh, it's off. There it is. Another another 30-second break. Yeah, man. Car's still there? I ain't made no payments on that motherfucker yet, so I don't need shit happening to it. Did you get gap insurance? Yes. Good I'm move. only like three payments in on my car. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Damn. That sucks. I felt really bad. Like, it was to the point to where, like, can yeah, I? Because you probably didn't lock the car. That's why. Oh, no, no, no. He offered to pay for the whole thing. Oh, I like, bad move. It. That's, that's almost like, no, like no, an no. admission of guilt, but I did lock the car. I locked the car. The second I step out of a car, I lock it. It's been to the point where I've locked myself in the car. I've locked her in the car. I lock the car right away. And sometimes when I know I lock the car, what she'll do is go, did you lock it? So I hit the button so it beeps 14 times. But then sometimes in the morning, I'll call him when I wake up and he's already at work and he'll go, did I shut the garage door today? I don't remember. Now, see, the garage door is different than a locked car. Completely different. Yeah, I've definitely pulled off my garage door open twice. (laughs) But you've always locked your car? Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty good on that. Pretty good on that. I've locked my keys in the car numerous times. I've locked my keys in the car so many times. No, I definitely don't do that. Not yeah, that I I did uh, one time, uh, twice within three weeks. Jesus. Awesome. You yeah. need to get one of them magnet jump offs, man. Uh, I did have one on there, but I don't know what happened to it. It has gone. Not on not on my car. This was the Blazer that I had years ago. Oh, I got you. Yeah, and that's when the that's when the uh, AAA guy came and goes. He just walks up to the car, opens it, and I go, um, did I do something wrong? But, you know, how, how'd you get in? Oh, I got this master key, man. I can just get in. It's whatever. I go, mm, fantastic. <laughs> he goes, I don't like messing people's tin up, so I just got one of these. Can I put in something completely random? Well, back to the, the Zimmerman thing. 
um, on TMZ, it's quoted George Zimmerman wants to beat up Kanye West, ironically, because the rapper has a history of attacking, quote unquote, defenseless people. I wouldn't really call George Zimmerman defenseless. I mean, I think he's no, no, barking he, up the no. Wrong Zimmerman tree. was saying Kanye West was um, attacking defenseless people. Well, what I'm saying is, I don't think Zimmerman's really the person who should be the spokes the spokesperson for defenseless people. Right. Yeah. That's why it's ironic. I, they should just let me fight George Zimmerman. It would be great. There's so many people that want to fight him. I'll, I'll make it worth your while. They're gonna have to have some type of security there because the chances of him coming out dead and not from DMX. But just like some random person killing him, it's gonna be the guy who's like, "No, let me fight you, man," and he's done. Who's Jesus? That's, that's Jesus. Con- no, 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 Jesus. No, Jesus. That's Kanye West. Is that like an alter ego? Yeah, no, not, I don't know about alter ego, but that's his like new thing. Really? Yeah, he's Jesus. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, Michael Vick's Ron Mexico. Kind of, sort of. I mean, I don't think Ron Mexico made up that made that much money. Jesus made a little bread. Really? Yeah. Apparently, George, at TMZ, it says George's beef with Kanye is not just that he attacks paparazzi, but the innocence as well, like the 18-year-old who allegedly called Kim a N star, 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 star lover. I see where you're going with that. Really, you need you didn't know after the first star. Well, no, I, I I wasn't. I was thinking of something completely different. I what I was thinking was completely different. You know, you you could have said you could have said Negro. You didn't have to say star. I was reading it verbatim. Well, I mean that's not verbatim. No one says star. I mean asterisk stars. asterisk a- asterisk. asterisk. There you go. There you go. <laughs> um, you know, do you ever watch UFC or or the yeah. like? What you know, the chick Ronda Rousey, yeah. or one of the chicks. Mm-hmm. I want to see her fight Chris Brown. Chris Brown would die. You think so? I know so. I mean... Son, she's bigger than Chris Brown. What are you talking about? Yeah. She's probably got at least 20 to 30 pounds on Chris. She's like 100 and what? Oh, even if she's 150, she's got 20 pounds on Chris Brown. She's got at least... She's got at least... All right, maybe not 20 to 30. She's got about 15 pounds on Chris Brown. She's going to break his arm, bro. Oh, yeah. Or like Silva break (laughs) break a leg. She's gonna, yeah, she's gonna break something. All right, so you got all your facts ready? I mean, I don't have too many facts, bro. I just want to drop some knowledge on you as far as. Hey, remember we got to talk about the one thing that we talked about that uh, your your question you wanted to bring up, or was that going to be a McSweeney minute? I don't have a McSweeney minute. My today. question, because I'd be forgetting shit, man. You got we got the uh, like the, pre- the adoption angle. Oh, I forgot all about that. I'm happy you said something about that. I should just say this right now. And this is probably the best show because I don't have any other motherfuckers other than you because I know you're going to have something to say about this. But um, Hey, DMX threatened to piss in Zimmerman's face. <laughs> there was 15,000 people who signed up to fight him. That's ridiculous. I mean, he killed somebody. How oh, no, it was, it, was, it was Game that said he wanted to piss in his face. Oh, oh no, maybe it was DMX. I don't know. <laughs> All of the above. Did we forget how to read? Well, no, because I read game. He was talking to TMZ. Then all of a sudden, it jumped back to DMX. Apparently, I don't know. I saw this on one of those uh, TV shows. But uh, what's the the big Kardashian sister? Chloe. Chloe. Chloe Miss Piggy. Apparently is like with the game now. Well, yeah. As Whiskey Post would say, lamb lambs off the radar, I guess. What was that look for? Because, no, nah, man, I'm not even going to get What, because of the I game and Chloe? I'm not even going to get started. I don't give a fuck about TMZ and or current events with celebrities and shit. Hey, here's something DMX said. It's kind of funny. I'm going to beat the living fuck out of him. <laughs> <laughs> I am breaking every rule in boxing to make sure I fuck him up. He also threatened to piss in Zimmerman's face. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was said very well. All right. Bark at him. So you're still looking up facts? Nah, I'm just looking at people's names. I'm just, I think that's just what I'm going to do. I'm like, yo, y'all need to remember these names because these motherfuckers did some shit. Don't get no credit. And you know, a little shout out on Black History Month before a month. I'm happy we did the show within the 28 days, too. By the no, way, I almost ran out of time. By the way, I want to say, <clears throat> fuck you, America, for giving black people the shortest month in a motherfucking calendar year, first of all, except on the leap year. 
And I do want to say, fuck, they would be like, still oh. the shortest month. It would be like, oh, my God, oh, my God. But you were the first people to have the first month dedicated to some shit. All right. They have months dedicated for nutrition, titty cancer, ALS, all this other shit. And we only get 28 days. And we were slaves. And we didn't want to ask. We didn't ask to come over here. Hey. We was hey. already brought over here. Hold on. It's my goddamn. Oh. This is my shit right now. Hold on. You go. You Hold go. on. All right. I All think right. this was your minute. No, it's not my minute. I'm just saying. I don't appreciate motherfuckers giving us 28 days and then be like, oh, here, just deal with it, be happy, and don't ask me no more about it. I'm kind of upset about that. Who was it? Uh, one of the the older, like, legendary black guys who are, have been in so many movies. It was Morgan Freeman. <sighs> Morgan Freeman, who said the, the best, how do you get rid of racism? You don't talk about it. Is there a white people history month? Is there an Asian people history month? I'm going to kill this. I'm going to let you go, but I'm going to murder this yeah? shit. Yeah? Yeah. Because bringing out a certain month to identify the great things that black people have done in the past just adds to the racism. Because now you're being picked out to be celebrated and whatever, but, I mean, that's not exactly treating everyone equal. You can say whatever you want. I'm okay, done. First, I just don't agree with done. the month Okay, at all. first, first, I'd have you look up the definition of racism and then get back to me on the next show. Oh, why don't you let me know what it is? Since and you're second, such a pro. and second of all, I would say I, mean, I could look it up. I got yeah, it. just go ahead and look that up. <clears throat> and second of all, I would say white history has been written through the books that are taught in education right now. Oh, there's no black history in the history books? It's a little bit, but it's not all there. Oh, I'm sorry. All I remember learning and, about was and, black history, basically, oh, in I high was, school. Oh, well, well, see, that's the thing. I went to a little more schooling than you did. So, second of all, history is told by the people who win the wars. That's history. People... <laughs> I bet you the motherfuckers over there in, in Tokyo or whoever the fuck is still glowing over there isn't telling the same story that we tell about Pearl Harbor and shit. Okay, so you got to understand, like, where you are and what you read is going to be your perception on history. And to be honest with you, I don't want Black History Month. I don't need you to tell me anything about me. If I, if I want to go find that, I'll find it. I'm kind of with you on that with Black History Month. So anyway... So racism, by definition, by definition, is actions, practices, or beliefs, or social or political systems that consider different races to be ranked as inherently superior or inferior to each other based on presumed shared inheritable traits, abilities, or qualities. According to who? Wiki. Oh, I mean. Well, yeah, I'm going to need Webster's de uh, definition oh, okay. on that. Well, I just think oh, that man, making a, a Black that, History me. Month, I think doesn't really help anyone see everyone the same because now it's like you're black you're different you get your own month you know the merriam webster definition i mean i know that's not exactly what different. it's like but i right. mean it's just it's celebrating and everything but it's still not making anyone less aware or less um so here's a question i'm just supposed, i'm just supposed to forget less about prejudicial <laughs> yeah there you go i'm just supposed to forget about the shits, the boycotts, the hoses, the hangings, the hoods, the crosses. I mean, there's not like a... I graduated in 2001, and I had the Ku Klux Klan at my high school football game. I'm supposed to forget that? White people have been hung, too. I understand that, but I'm, I'm asking you, am I supposed to forget... Oh, that what wasn't too far from here, either. Exactly. So I'm just supposed to forget that? I mean, no, but white people have now, gone through stuff now, in now, the past, okay, too, and, I'm and not, not and I'm not telling you to forget either. that. I'm not telling you to forget that. I'm not telling you to forget As that. As I'm not telling you for to forget whatever you have to, right. you know. And I'm also saying I don't, I don't, I don't believe in Black History Month. We're on I'm the just, same page. I'm Why just, are we arguing? We're arguing because I want oh, no, a long, it's, it's I want a, a longer debate. month. I want a longer month. If you're gonna give me a month, don't give me the shortest one in the fucking calendar year. That's what I'm arguing about. That's exactly what I'm arguing so about. So Merriam-Webster's, I want thirty or thirty-one days. Is a belief that is the primary of human traits and capacities and that racial differences produce an inherent superiority of a particular race. Said differently. Uh, but kind of a weak definition. Same. That is definitely a weak definition. But that's Merriam-Webster for you. Uh. Like if there were a month emphasizing on all of the white people who really stood out in history... I'm sure that all the black people and all the Asian people and the Spanish people would be pissed. I think it's Asian and, and Spanish people that really get the uh, shit end of the stick, if you think about it. Well, you know why? Because they don't throw race in everyone's face. Yeah, I if they did, that. I'm sure they'd get their own fucking month, too. 
December's Christian month. Oh, please. <laughs> Don't even get me started. I knew I'd catch heat on that one. Hey, so what do you think? Of, remember the, the the adoption thing? Oh, oh this is going to be classic, too. This this all started over watching this family. All right, so so I understand. I, I know the principle behind it. When an all-white family adopts the minority kid, be it black, Asian, whatever the fuck, I understand you're helping the kid out. But the thing that white family is not considering is when you go and you sit down at the dinner table and that kid is looking around the table, none of you motherfuckers look like me, so I know you're not my family. At the end of the day, I know y'all helped me out. Y'all might have taken me from a crackhead mom and all that other kind of cool shit, but y'all cannot really understand and or appreciate what that kid's going to go through mentally. Like but he, also, is that better than what he would have gone through not having a family that would take care of him? You don't know that. I would think that's a lot better than having a crackhead mom. But you didn't give him that, that option. You, you don't know. I mean, so you having a that. crackhead mom or a loving family that takes care of you. Okay, obviously, if you have a crackhead mom, your crackhead mom might not raise you, but you do have potentially other family members that could help you out. Well, and obviously you, not if you're being adopted. Well, I'm just saying, if if they take you from there, then I understand the point. I'm not disputing the fact that they're trying to help the kid out. All I'm trying to say is when that black kid is sitting – if, okay, so whatever, where, where do you want the black kid to come from? Where do you want the black okay, kid no, to come no. from? No, 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 you can't, you can't, no, I just asked you a question for the no, scenario. No, no. Where do you want the black kid to come from? Give me a city. He can come from... Detroit. Okay, we That's have a black, we have a black kid from Detroit, okay? He comes down here to a lovely fucking holiday, okay, with an all-white family. Lovely. And they go slide out to, let's just say, hmm, I don't know, Cracker Barrel, okay? Nice, friendly establishment, Okay. He's sitting at a table and damn near like let's just let's just say to be generic, it's sixty two percent white in the building. And that'd be light for holiday. Okay. He's probably gonna be the only black thing in there besides shit that's not supposed to be in there. You feel me? Okay. Now, when that kid is sitting at that table looking around not only his table but that restaurant, he's gonna be like, you know what? I definitely don't look like any of these motherfuckers in here. Maybe he might hopefully he appreciates what y'all are doing for him, but mentally y'all fucking that kid up. Um, so kid the is kid is racist up. already. How old is this kid? How is he racist if he's like he just can't because relate he feel like to he you? He doesn't belong. He can't no, relate to you. Bad. Yeah, he doesn't. Well, yeah, he, can't he doesn't. Relate to you. Yeah, that's that's more. Either what way, it is. if that kid had family, if his crackhead mom had a like a sister that was in a good position, or an aunt or an uncle or okay, a grandma, okay. then that that person, w that family member, would have got the child. Okay. All right. So let's put a spin on this now. So let's say you have a brother and a sister, and the white family only wants one kid, and they split them up. Are they, do you still see them in the same view? It's a shitty-ass family if they're going to split up a brother and a sister. Just answer the question, yes or no. You see them in the same view, yes or no? I'd be pissed if I were the kid. Okay, so that's definitely not Yeah, I know. You'd grow up really fucked up when you found that out. But that's so a, to that's a totally see, different situation. That's just, a, that's just a little spin on the situation. Yeah. That's I mean, every situation is different, but if you have a single child coming from a crackhead mom, doesn't take care of them, or a kid coming from an abuse, abuse, abusive family, and then they get adopted out by a family that loves them, takes care of them. Okay, so will you acknowledge the fact that at least that kid might have problems adjusting to a situation where he doesn't have anything that visually looks like him? Well, yeah, but all right. I mean... That's all I was saying. Like That's all I was saying. Not gonna, it's not like the family's going to be like, no, you're ours. I mean, you, we, you weren't adopted, and they can't play that off. Obviously, the kid would know that he was adopted. I've seen it played like that. I mean... And they're like, oh, we don't see color in our house. Okay, well, when that motherfucker cruises outside and goes on US-19, where they do see color, well, yeah, it's going to matter then. It may not no, even I'm take effect until they go to... Yeah, when they leave the... When they middle leave, school yeah, or something When they leave like the that. nest, it's gonna, that kid's going to get slapped in the face no, with reality, saying, and they're not helping him. That's all that I'm saying. In that situation, the, the family, the parents or whatever that adopted the kid would obviously raise the kid as their own, but still letting him know that... He was adopted. Obviously, he's not theirs, and he is different, and kind of helping him adjust to that. See, some families don't like to acknowledge adoption, though. Yeah, Obviously, I mean, there's you, adoption, but okay, there's some families don't like, like acknowledging it. It's like, okay, your daughter. You have brown hair. What's-her-face has some color hair that's not red. Almost like Auburn. So, kind of and then you have a fiery redhead... It, she's like the girl in Brave. That's what she looks like. And now I could picture, 
like if somebody adopted if you guys like adopted her but then playing it off like oh yeah you look different but you're ours or something like that but she feels different that's a terrible scenario by no the way. That's, not a, that's not a terrible scenario but she looks different than you because of her Obviously, fucking she's hair not color adopted because yeah. of her she, hair color no really? she is pale pale yeah but where has red hair Obviously, so take she's your not adopted so you take can look your red ass outside and get some sun what you are you talking about dip she's not gonna get any sun you can look different it's and still fact, belong can you please handle this because this is a terrible terrible comparison no, right well, now. Well, do you know what i'm trying to no, say no i know what you're trying to say but what, what is he was wrong saying right is shut up from white to black like uh, not that is white a situation to white. where you can't do that i'm saying that's just a situation about anything where you can, can happen white to white but you can't do like have a little black child and be like yeah you're our baby nothing that's the whole change. argument that's the whole that's point of the I'm statement saying the whole time I so you can't do so that. so do you so you still see it as a super great it's like thing a circle just a circle no because you can't fucking process and shit and it takes you like 45 minutes to answer a question yes or no do you still see that same family now that you come to the realization that that's no, statement, if a child so is that, raised from a baby with a family that loves him, takes care of him, that is far better than having a crackhead mom that does not take care of you. You grow up, you go to school, you're with a mixture of different kids. I mean, I can see how you see you see you're different, but the child isn't gonna be racist to himself and be like, look, I'm black. I obviously don't belong here. I hate my life. You should have left me with my crackhead mom. Even that one success story, the Michael Orr, the football player. Yes. That was adopted by white parents. He, at one point in time, felt very strange, but then realized, I think he went back to his old neighborhood or something like yes. that and realized, wow, I really do have it good. But it took him to go back and see what he was taken from by... I don't know if she was a crackhead, but the mom was, there was something going on there. And she didn't have any other family. That's why he got adopted. Is what it is. I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not all along with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, eh, you don't know what that kid's thinking. That kid might not ever tell you how he really feels. Right. And he it's, it's just not let fair. Him rot away with a crackhead mom and. Okay, so this is the thing. This is, this is, this is the thing. How many other motherfuckers have a similar story that you don't even know about? I mean, would they be better off being adopted by a family who wants them? Yes. Again, can you just answer the question? How many other people are in that same situation that aren't going to get adopted? I'm sure there's tons and tons. All right, and exactly. So, so I'm. I don't care either way it goes. All I'm saying is you need to consider if you're going to be a white family adopting a black kid. Okay, just be just think about what you're going to do to that kid. How you're going to put him in a scenario where he's always going to be awkward. How Would you want to be in a position where you're always going to be awkward? No, I have a good situation. How unhappy are uh, Angelina Jolie's children? Angelina Jolie is fucking loaded with money. What is your point? But she's not the same as her son, or I think she adopted like three more. I think she adopts, well, I think she has Asian kids, black kids. Uh, doesn't she? I know her first one was like Asian. Yeah, she, well, she adopts. She ad yeah, I don't know. She and she has her own everywhere. kids too. Yeah. Which that's weird. I'm sure they feel really upset that they were rescued from a terrible life. No, okay, question okay, for you. White, and, okay. With white people. All right. Well, okay. Well, now that you want to play that game, go look up how much she, what her net worth is, and then see if she's going to be it in doesn't holiday. Doesn't matter. She's white. She adopted different colored babies. They well, must be unhappy. Well, actually, actually did it right. If she's going to have the color of the rainbow, then all of them going to look different. Good job. She so did like it right. So, like, the little people, the, the midgets, they adopted an Asian baby, and I don't remember what the little boy was. The little boy was Asian. The little girl was, like, Indian or something like that. Now, okay, question for you. Would you be able to adopt at all? No. I don't think I could adopt at all. No. Why would no you way. want to? Well, okay, let's say you really wanted to have a child and you couldn't, and your only ways to do that kind of have to i wouldn't be able to adopt because i don't know it's just so you sign it up, wouldn't be yours. You're, sign, you're signing up to take on somebody else's problems kind of yeah <laughs> that's what even it is even though you choose to do it and you pay a shit ton of yeah, money you're, vol you're volunteering to take on debt and a somebody else's problems ton of money I mean, I don't think I. I mean, I. That's I what it is, man. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm done sugarcoating shit, man. I'm gonna say exactly what the fuck and how I feel. Fuck it. 
kid ain't nothing but some debt and disease up in this bitch, man. That's all it is. Well, you got inflicted. She got inflicted. It's not the Different child's diseases. fault. It is the child's I, cause fault. Because I said it wasn't his fault. It is the child's fault. It's not his fault. It is the child's fault. No. Partially. Yeah. Okay, partial. Partial yeah. works. I'm okay with partial. Brutal. He was he was definitely he was definitely uh it's not an acquaintance. What's the word I'm looking for? Accessory? Yeah, an yeah. accomplice. Yeah, an accomplice. accomplice. He was def- yeah, he was definitely an accomplice on that. So yeah, it's his fault. I I had something similar to what you had for about thirty six to forty eight hours one time and right. it was miserable. Yeah, it was rough, man. I, I can't imagine. It was rough. Um and she looked like she had chicken pox when she had it. Well you saw the worse. picture. Yeah. Um it was worse than chicken pox. Yeah, so it was kind of scary. Like when I, you know, I don't, I don't go to the doc. I try to fight everything off I can. It is what it is. You know, I got, I know the tricks of the trade, if you will. Got nervous. I started getting numbness, tingling, different spots. I'm like, this is not good. That means I know my electrolytes are out. All right, so I go to the to the room or whatever and uh, start feeling pain in my kidneys. I'm like, yeah, this is definitely not good. Dehydration is kicking my ass right now. So I go to the I go to the, the walk in clinic or whatever. Like, oh yeah, I fill out these paperwork. I'm like, look, I'm really not feeling good. I just want y'all to give me an IV. And try to keep moving. Okay, whatever, blah. Had me sitting there for 20 minutes, people coming in after me, whatever, going in before me. So I'm like, all right. I had enough of this shit. I go, mom, slide down. She said, well, I just go slide down. I proceed to projectile vomit on command in the middle of the fucking lobby. <laughs> I ain't never seen How many other people were in there? There was time? at least... One. Probably about eight to ten people in the lobby. Ugh. Okay, and the lobby was legitimately about this space, door to door. Ugh. Okay, and I'm probably right here. So projectile, oh, you were in the center of the room. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I know how, look, bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a medical professional too, sometimes. I know how the game works. I see the nice little triage sign on the door. I know what that word means too. You know what I'm saying? When motherfuckers got to do shit, you shit got to be done. All right? So anyway. And then you went right in. Right in. <laughs> oh, welcome. We were you were next and I bet I was, bitch. Clean that <laughs> shit up. Get into the room. I'm like, look, I just need an IV. They want to talk to me. I'm not really trying to talk to y'all right now. I'm not I don't really want to go over symptoms. I don't need y'all to check my blood pressure. That's not necessary right now. I need fluids. Okay. Lady goes in, proceeds to miss and blow out veins six times and three times in each arm before they hit a vein. Okay, I'd be really mad. I damn near lost my mind on on pool number three, and the, and the whole damn building knew about it. God. And I was like, I was like, I'm sorry, but because um, the first time she went in and she missed, I'm like, no, you need to pull that out because I have a pain in my bicep right now. That's not good. She was like, oh, she was like, what do you do? I was like, don't worry about that. Just get this fucking needle in me so I can get some juice going. All right. So she goes in this one. Now she you no, know, she goes twice in the left. She goes into the right, and she like flattened out. She push, push, and went. I felt it like burst. I was like, holy shit. About 15 to 20 decibels louder than that. Okay. Where it <laughs> popped, is that somewhere where you get a lot of IVs? No, she the vein the vein was so small she went through it. Oh. Yeah. Because like I've had usually when I get blood drawn, like you can't really see my veins. Mm-hmm. They always find the same one to put it in, and I got so much All right, scar like, that's tissue. The only yeah, so when the last time I got work done, they put it in, it actually popped the cuz it was like a knot in the mm-hmm. the vein. No, I uh, no, I was just I was dehydrated cuz and as soon as she like as soon as the they got it in for the first time, like my body just rejuvenated cuz like I felt oh, instantaneously better. Boom. I had to get two bags of IV. They gave me some anti-diarrheal, anti-nausea shit. I didn't even, I didn't even do, I didn't even fill my scripts because I just took the IV and took my black ass home. Okay, that's all I wanted to do was get hydrated and lay down. All right, and because I was so dehydrated, like I started to feel better. But then yesterday, I had to go through the rebound effect. So my body was getting rid of liquids. Then it wanted to keep every damn thing in the world. So I was bloated yesterday. Okay, miserable. I felt like one of y'all. I was like, this is like, is this like a period? Because this sucks. <laughs> This is fucking terrible. I couldn't imagine having a period. Oh so. my yeah. god! Oh, I I so literally bad. wanted to shoot myself. I was like, no, if I like, I couldn't do. I couldn't shit. I couldn't piss. I was just. Reti- I, I was retaining water. I was like, this is that terrible. Sucks. 
So I, you know, I, I was like, fuck this. I was like, I'm getting rid of this shit. Straight to the laxative aisle, baby. <laughs> like a wrestler. Ah. <laughs> Wish I got that on video. What? Yeah. <laughs> fuck that shit. I, was at, I looked at it. I was like, six hours. I woke up at 3 a.m. I was like, damn, this ain't working. I don't feel it yet. Went back to sleep. Woke up at 6. Said, it's go time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so before we go, how was the uh, shootout? It was straight. Did you even get to work it? Uh, yeah, I was, I was. I had to work it. I was 80%, man. Um, it was nice. Uh, a lot of big dunks. Oldsmar, Oldsmar held it down. Uh, a couple reverses. Um, I think overall, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to give it the plug, I guess. Go to BeastAthleticShootout.com, and uh, they should have video up on the, uh, on the internet, uh, highlights. Um, I probably send you, that's what I can do. Send me, I can put it on, I'll shoot it to you. It's on Facebook. I'll get it to you that way. Um, dunks all over the place, man. Alley oops. Uh, the craziest thing was a five foot 11 guard caught an alley oop on the way down. What? Yes. Okay. Just, just think about that. Were on the there, way down. Were the college scouts there? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> this kid did a, uh, windmill, uh, between the legs. Between the legs, oh, here it is. He went between the legs, down the lane. Now, this is warm-ups, okay, warm-ups. Between the legs, down the lane, windmill, uh, elbow in the rim. Vince Carter. Vince elbow. Carter. I said, really, really? Now, granted, none of that went down in the game, but um, so the 5'11 guard caught Chris. Chris. Joyce. When he jumped off, when he jumped off, my man's head was in the box, was in the box, and the lob was late. Caught it with his right hand on the way down, flushed it. Boom. I wanted to walk out. Cause that was ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay. Um Yeah, I, I just got off vacation. So I remember you mentioned those days and I was I, I worked every morning. It would have been cool to go. But um uh, it was nice. Couple 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 elbows, couple big boys, a soft uh, sophomore, like big baby size, literally. About six six, six seven, two sixty three. Can't he's not he can't he can't jump out the gym, but he'll damn near run through a wall. You know what I'm saying? He uh <laughs> hit some he kinda he kinda swung some swung some bows, got a few T's, got a few uh F bombs dropped around. It was kinda nice. A little aggression. Good times. You know. But uh it was a good show, man. Y'all gotta check out uh round three next year. If if we're around here. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna come up there and hang out at Rucker Park. I remember Rucker, Rucker Park. Rucker Park. It's a good time. Yeah, you can't go to Rucker Park. They'll probably snatch you. We're going to try to do a uh, like a quick like two or three day, like try to see as much as possible session. You ever been to New York? No, I've barely been out of Florida. All right, so I'm going to tell you like this. When you go and you do actually end up in New York, do not look up like this. Don't do that. You've been there. You know not to do that, okay? You got to keep her in check. I don't get it. You, I know you won't get it. I'm not going to take the time to explain it to you. Just make sure she don't do that when y'all get out or there. Or when you go up top, don't look down. Well, I've never been to the Sears Tower. I guess I'll have Sears to explain Tower, it. Sears Tower, that's in Chicago. I get, or whatever the fuck it is, whatever. I guess I'm going to explain it to you. Okay, so when you go to New York and you do this, you're a tourist. You've been marked, okay? And motherfuckers get real up there. I already told her about the wallet thing, the purse right. thing. Like. Man, and you can laugh and play with it if you want to. I did two and a half years up there. Oh, yeah, well, I Riker figured Island. that if we do move up there, <laughs> I'm rarely going to leave where we live. No, you'll leave. That is. You'll leave because he's not going to put you in the hood. No, I'll probably just stay there all day, every day. Okay. Well, well, the thing is, is like her, well, with her car, we got to take it. And so that means you can't live there, have to live somewhere else outside of it. Because, like, with the with the a payment and stuff, we're not getting rid of it. Get rid of mine. You just pay, pay to park it. Yeah, but it's such a hassle to drive anywhere around that place. That's why you pay to park it. I mean, like, you where you live, like, where you live, that's one thing. Right. But, like, I mean, like, living closer than that. I'm talking about living in the city. You pay to park it. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to tell you. I don't know. That's gonna be for y'all to decide. I'm coming. We to gotta visit. gotta look at the whole thing because the tax rates more. Yeah. I know the pays more, but it's like, yeah, of course it's, it's all gonna be relevant. More. It's not like yeah. it's gonna be a raise. No. It'll be, be all like basically the same. Yeah. Have to see. My uh, two years was uh, Friday. Not a boy. You get anything for that? Uh, a late review. Still waiting on that. Can't do it, man. Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it. That shit is serious. 